All right, we're starting the uh, one minute intro. America and welcome to It's Happening Out. This is the world's most popular live gay television show and it's 8 p.m. Wednesday, August 26, 2020. I'm your host and moderator, Al Ferguson. Uh, welcome, America. We are going to have so much fun and an entertaining show tonight. Uh, so thank you for joining us and it's time to get started with It's Happening Out. Right at the top of the show, let's begin tonight with Happening Now. We're going to do some breaking news. Happening Now uh, and It's Happening Out uh, welcomes cast and crew members from Columbia and Cape Cod. We're going to go live for a film called Nowhere as part of one of the largest LGBTQ film festivals in the entire world, the Outshine Film Festival. Happening Out Television Network, including It's Happening Out, is a proud partner with the Outshine Film Festival, which is running until August 30th. Tickets are on sale now at outshinefilm.com. All of the platforms of Happening Out Television Network will be reporting interesting news from one and many of the important uh, films that are running of one of the most important LGBTQ film festivals on this planet. Here's a short uh, video of what this festival is all about. Watch this. Well, tonight we'd like to introduce you to one of the great films, part of the Outshine Film Festival. It's called Nowhere, and some of the people involved in creating this film, both behind the camera and in front. The film is an openly gay couple, about an openly gay couple in New York, uh, who must decide whether to return to Colombia or stay in the United States when a, one of their visa requests is rejected. Sounds very topical to me uh, with the RNC going on this week. Either way, the thoughts and discussions associated with the decision will have a profound effect on the cover and the couple. Uh, tonight, we introduce the writer, directors, brothers, uh, Francisco and David Salazar, and some of the actors of the film, Miguel Gonzalez, Juan Pablo Castablanco, and Natalie Rangel. Everybody, welcome to It's Happening Out. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Let's, uh, let's start with uh, Francisco and uh, David. You are uh, coming uh, tonight from Cape Cod. Everyone else is coming from uh, Colombia or uh, Bogota uh, in uh, Colombia. So this is all live. We prepare you, America. This is highly technical in terms of the different places that we're coming from and folding our host of It's Happening Out in all simultaneously. So be patient with us. Um, Francisco, uh, you and David are brothers. Tell us a little bit about uh, this film, uh, Nowhere. So, uh, Nowhere is a film dedicated about, like you said, a couple, a gay couple living in New York that struggles with the challenges of immigration and identity. Um, Adrian, who is one of the characters, um, has parents who are very conservative, who don't know about his, his status as, as, a, as a gay man, and he 
he basically doesn't, he wants to cover that up from them. He, he, he wants to live the, the relationship with Sebastian um, as, as openly as he can in New York, but without having to bring his parents into the situation. So when Sebastian's visa situation, you know, he struggles with the visa situation, suddenly Adrian has to own up to the fact that he might have to open up to his parents. Mm. And, and the two of you wrote the film, and then uh, you both are co-directors of the film, is that correct? That is uh, correct. And, and y'all are from Colombia also? So we were born in New York, but we're actually Colombian citizens. My parents are from Colombia. We're first generation Americans, and um, we went to Colombia to shoot the film. Um, yes. Ah, I see. And um, uh, Miguel and Juan and Natalie are stars of the uh, film. All of you are coming tonight from Colombia, uh, Bogota and Southern Colombia. Welcome to It's Happening Out. We're very excited to, uh, uh, to hear uh, from you. Um, I'm curious, uh, what was your experience in doing uh, an independent film like this and in the United States? Do, are, are all of you able to come back and forth to the United States freely? Uh, 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 what was it like uh, to do this film, and especially in terms of promotion of this film? What was your experience like? Whoever would like to start. Um, is, is the first is the first movie I, I made in, in two different countries. Uh, I used to go to, to the United States uh, constantly, but knowing this uh, kind of, uh, of work, so I'm so happy to uh, be filming here in Bogota. Uh, all the interiors we made it here in Bogota. And it was really nice to go to New York and spend time with the guys. And for one, it was his first time in the United States. So it's really nice to uh, spend all that experience with local partners and colleagues. And how about you, Natalie? Do you come back and forth to the United States? or? Um, I do. Yes, I come back and forth. Well, I, I do have a, a story of immigration, but that's like a real true story. But um, after 50 years, I was able to go back to New York, and I think that was the best experience I could ever have. Hmm. And, and Juan, tell us a little about, about uh, your experience with uh, doing this film, Nowhere. Yeah, for me it was a really big experience because it was my first time in a lot of things. It's my first, first feature film. It's my first first time acting in so my first time in USA. So everything about this is just magic for me. And also well, as we told you, America, um, and, and uh, Juan is coming from southern Colombia, so we are going to have some technical um, uh, issues with this uh, connection. Francisco and David, I want to ask you about uh, the film here. Um, uh, tell us a little bit of what it was like to, uh, to debut a film like Nowhere uh, in 2020 when we're dealing in COVID-19. Is it uh, different in experiences that you've had before, or how does it differ? So actually, when we were originally going to uh, start the promotion of this film, we were really excited because it was going to be finally in theaters back in April when Outshine had announced the, the festival. And then when they all of a sudden, when everything closed down, we were we were kind of like you know disappointed. But then when they, they offered the experience of, of virtual, we were kind of hesitant at the beginning. But then you know we realized how amazing it is to have a virtual film festival, particularly an LGBT film festival. Uh, because there's so much, uh, there's so many audiences that you can cross over that generally wouldn't be um, have, access, have access to it. So we were really excited about that prospect. So it, it's been really, a really great experience having and being able to see audiences who would generally not see this film to and see it uh, because of the virtual experience. I, I'm curious, Francisco. Uh, Francisco is um, their brothers, Francisco and David. You co-wrote, you co-directed uh, the film. Francisco is uh, is gay. David is straight. Did it create any differences in writing the film and directing the film with one uh, being gay and one being straight? Were there any differences? Or it's just so natural for you that you fight all of the time because you're brothers and it didn't really matter what your sexual orientation was? I think I think one of the things that we, we had talked about was that we were going to bring in our own personal experiences. We, we said, you know, relationships, relationships 
generally relationships work in, in many ways the same way, whether you're straight or gay. And, and we felt that, you know, my brother brought in his own relationship right. experiences into the film. I brought mm -hmm. my own personal journey into the film as well. So it was really a, a good way of bringing in our, both of our stories and putting it into this into this film without having to show a difference between gay or straight. I think that was probably one of the most um, incredible uh, things to be able to do and, and, and to be able to share our own personal stories within the film. And I mean, having this has been our first feature film, but we directed numerous short films together. So we already had a lot of experience in working together. So of course, the typical fights that you have as brothers, they were there, the typical moments of uh, you know, working together and, and figuring out our process, all of that was there. Um, so, you know, in, in that sense, like my brother said, we brought in our own personal experience to craft this story. Um, but the process of working was already very much embedded in, in our I also, I'm, I'm also curious one uh, for you. Uh, so you talked about this series of first. We hope our connection is a little better. But uh, when you came to New York, first time uh, to do uh, something like this, uh, did you have any impressions of the LGBT community in the United States or in New York when you came? Because you're, you're not in the capital in Colombia. You're not in Bogota. Uh, you're in southern Colombia. Uh, did you have any impressions on the LGBT community here in New York and in America? Yeah, I feel the difference between America and my country because a lot of people have to hide here just for being gay. But there, I just feel like part of something and that I, I don't know. I have, I'm going to say something about that in my country. Maybe I. Uh, uh, I, I should be a, in, the, in a shadow, but in a country like you, I could be a rainbow or something like that. So that, uh, being in your country uh, gave me the opportunity to see another different culture and a different way that you see the LGBTQ community. Oh, interesting. I, I want to um, I want to ask you, uh, uh, Francesco. Uh, Francisco, I'm sorry. Um, your experience this year in terms of doing uh, the film festival, um, uh, your association with an independent film festival, especially an LGBTQ uh, film festival, you, you committed in this film to do it uh, live, you know, per showing the films to a live audience uh, here in South Florida. Now, you might have had 300, 400 people in the theater. Now you can show the film in the same festival, literally, to thousands of people. Uh, what, what's your reaction of, well, this is how we started, but this is how we've ended up because of COVID-19? I think, I think, you know, if you speak to my brother, you speak to me, you speak to Miguel Juan Pablo and Natalie, I think really excited you know we just had our, our premiere in Colombia on Wednesday last Wednesday and oh, it was congratulations. Shown it would have never been shown on television had it not been for the fact that it went virtual because that's not the type of cinema that for example in Colombia you, you see and you have that access to and the same here a lot of people a lot of family members a lot of people who general audience friends um, and people that we we don't even know saw the film and were really excited to be able to see it and we've got such a wonderful reaction uh, to, be to it. So you know, I think it's been an overall positive experience. And you know, I know my brother and I we were very skeptical at the beginning, but we're really just excited about everything that's happening. Absolutely outstanding. That is a fantastic soundbite. America, we remind you. South Florida, Florida, we remind you. Um, Outshine Film Festival uh, is one of the largest LGBTQ film festivals in the world, and it is so important to support them because they're a 501c3 not-for-profit. Uh, film festivals, uh, LGBT film festivals, are not for profit. And if there's ever a year to support them, it is 2020. One last question. David, I'm curious for you. Uh, so you uh, could do this actually uh, with um, a film festival and showing your film live, which you could do previously. Now you have to do it digitally, and you have the benefits of the digital. Uh, for uh, 2021, uh, which do you hope for? To be able to present or to be continue to be digital what's your what's your hope well i i, I think it all depends on where we are in terms of the safety of, of, of the whole world in terms of COVID. obviously you, you would love to be able to show it in a theater to be there with an audience to experience how people are feeling the moment of watching the film uh but obviously you, you can't you can't take for granted the fact that like my brother said the streaming 
options, the virtual options, have opened up the film to a completely new audience that, again, potentially we might never have had under the current circumstances. So, I just, yeah. I just want to add one thing too. This QA would not be possible if we were doing the You know, the the fact that all three of our actors are here with us and are able to be participating in all of the, the Q and A's and all the press. That's also what it, that wouldn't be as possible. So I think that that's something that we've also been able to win. And and uh, Francisco, that's a great note in participation with the film. Uh, the Outshine Film Festival allows you to interact digitally uh, with uh, the writers, directors, and stars of the film. So it's a really unique and very personal opportunity to interact. We're very, very proud to help support uh, and sponsor the Outshine Film Festival because this is something that is also unique in 2020. Um, a digital gay talk show is introducing a film digitally from multiple locations, both in the United States and internationally. And we're bringing our entire community together and you're watching it live. How interesting in terms of presenting what you're doing. And the film is called Nowhere. And we remind you, America, look in to go online uh, for ticketing. It is at outshinefilm.com. Uh, Francisco, uh, David, Miguel, Juan, and Natalie, thank you so much for joining It's Happening Out, the world's most popular live gay TV show. Good night, y'all. Thank, thank you. Thank you.